Hey guys, happy Saturday. This is Celtic from Wicked Witch Productions. I'm going to update my video on how to create a bounding box to outline for stickers. Let's take a look and see how this works. I apologize for the audio quality and working with a new microphone, so please bear with me while we work out some kinks. We're going to try this flower. It's going to have a little bit of distortion around the edge because of all the glitter on the image itself. So we're going to take it, trace it to line art. We're not going to change anything. We're just going to leave it just the way it is. We're going to pull that to the side. We're going to ungroup it, control U. And then we're going to come up here to the bounding box and click create a boundary. We'll move that to the side. We can get rid of that. We don't need it. And if you see, there's little tiny pieces. We're going to click on this, ungroup it, select not ungroup it, control K to break it apart, select from the bottom, select from the top, get rid of the little pieces, and now we have our plain outline. Now, in the previous video, I showed that we were going to edit the curve here. We're not going to do that. I found a new way to make it much simpler. We're going to use your contour over here. If you do not have this docker on the side, you're going to go over here to effects and click contour down here on the bottom or the shortcut key is control F9. I'm going to click on it. You're going to put to the outside contour one step eighth of an inch and I found that a, especially on designs like this the rounded corner option is the one that works the best. Hit apply and you see smoothed it out and put a whole new outline on the outside. You're going to hit control K to break it apart, click off of it, and then you're going to click the inside line and hit delete. Click on your line. You're going to come over here to the shape tool. F10 is your shortcut key. You're going to have this toolbar across the top. You're going to hit the select all nodes tool. It's going to highlight all your nodes. You're going to hit reduce nodes. You're going to come over one more. This is your curve smoothness. You're going to choose 20 and watch it gets rid of all the nodes. See how smooth and pretty that looks. There is no editing that you're going to have to do here. And take this and put it over this. Now, for me, I'm printing on a BN20 out of VersaWorks. So I need to have that outline be exported as a contour color so that it cuts. It's called the spot color. So when I export this as a PDF to go to the printer, I am going to make sure that my PDF does not convert my spot colors to CMYK. The printer is going to show it and print it as a CMYK. It will not print a spot color. According to the printer, the spot color is what gets the cut line. So that's what we're doing on this. I'm going to zoom out and you can see I have all these other stickers already outlined and I'm going to do the rest of these. But it's that easy. I'm going to do it one more time. We'll do it with something a little more complicated. See all the glitter pieces when you're going to go, you're going to get some little glitter pieces. I'm just going to do it again. Outline trace, line art. We're not changing anything. Going to hit OK. Going to move it over. You're going to ungroup it. Bounding box. Create the boundary. You're moving the boundary over. And you can see it's in little pieces and it's got some extra <laughs> stuff. When I break this apart, this is going to separate. So don't delete anything yet. 
or to show a different track. I'm gonna delete the clip art. Okay, right, so here we go. We're gonna control K to break it apart. And you've got these little pieces that are almost touching. And it's all little dirty pieces in here. But it's all part of it, so you're gonna ignore that. You're gonna click on this one, click on this one, and you're going to weld them. That's this button right here. Weld it. Now what a weld does is it locks it all together, just like the weld in Design Space. Now zoom back out a little bit. Now all of that is one piece, so I can put my contour on it. I'm going to apply my contour using the same specs as last time. You're going to do the outside box, one step, eighth of an inch, rounded corners, hit apply. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now control K to break it apart. Delete your middle piece. Beautiful. You're going to go to your shape tool or F10 for your shortcut. Select all your nodes, reduce your nodes, smoothness to 20. See, so I got rid of all the extra points. Every single one of those nodes is where your knife point is going to move or blip. So the smoother your line, the smoother your cut is going to be, and the less time it's going to take to cut. Now, there's different ways that you can export this. You can export this like I'm doing for the VersaWorks. You can export these to print in Design Space. You can export them as an SVG. You can export them as a PNG. It really depends on what you want to do. <clears throat> for me, I can print 18 inches wide by however long the roll is. So my template for a gang sheet is 18 inches wide by, it's probably going to be about four foot by the time all is said and done. But this set of stickers specifically is going to take up about 24 inches of space. Now what I'm going to do is I'm also doing the larger individual stickers but I'm also going to do a sticker sheet, which is why I have all the extraneous stuff done. So I'm going to set up my sticker sheet. And I'll put all the smaller stickers on a sheet. This is something that you can use for a planner. You can use it for Christmas paper wrapping or gift card wrapping, whatever you want to do. And that's pretty much it pretty easy. If you guys have any questions, drop comments below. Feel free to email me, wickedwitchproductions at gmail.com, and I will help you out if I can. Have a great day.